Mathematics Ordinary Level, Paper 2, 2022, Part 4. Let's look at Question 10. It's still algebra. Now, I know that I did a lot of this in this exam preparation videos. And this, if I look at this one, it's a very, very basic one. Okay, so let's just start. You will find this on page 156 in my textbook. Okay, now the first that we will do is let's just name this equation 1 and this equation 2. So substitute equation 1 into equation 2. Okay. So basically, I'm just going to take that and put it in there. So it's going to be x plus x squared. And that is going to be equal to 12. Now, this is a quadratic equation. Can you see that? So then it's going to be x squared plus x minus 12. And that is going to be equal to 0. And now I'm going to factorize. So if I factorize, let's just say... It's 3 and 4 and 1 and 1. It's in group B. So 4, I cross multiply. Minus 3, it's 1. Excellent. The biggest, the signs are different. The biggest overcrossed product gets a positive and this gets a negative. And this is xx. So basically, I'm going to have x, plus, um, x minus 3, x plus 4. And that's going to be equal to zero. So x is equal to, okay, you can, I'm just going to, because it's, this bracket is equal to zero or, so x is equal to three or x is equal to negative four. I just didn't put that step in to say this bracket equals zero or this bracket equals zero and then simplify it further. Okay, and now I can just get my values of y. So I use equation, so substitute. into a uh, substitute x values into and it take the easiest one one okay so i'm going to have y is equal to x squared so y is equal to three squared and that's nine and then the other one y is equal to negative four squared and that is 16. So I'm just going to end to say if it's 3, then the value of y is 9. And if it's negative 4, then the value of y will be 16. Okay, that was really not a difficult one. So make sure that you conquer the basics uh, because a lot of times, um, I would say more than 50% of the question paper is usually basics. Okay. Now, this is logs. That, this is a bit more, but again, it, if I look at this one, it's also not that challenging. Okay, so evaluate. Now, this is log 1,000 plus log 100 without using a calculator. Okay, now, basically, it's just testing if I know the rules. Now, let's just go. You will find that rules, laws of 9.5. So, it's going to be log... A thousand. Now, what is the rule if it's a plus? Can you recall? If you go to that page, it becomes multiply. So you write one log word and you say a thousand multiply a hundred, and that is going to be, and then it's one, two, three, four, five zeros. So if I use again the rule and, and working, it's, it's almost like you take, can I show you here? You take, okay, now it's five zeros, and, and do with ten, because you works in ten. So then it's going to be four zeros, okay. And then ten again, and it's three zeros. And then ten again, and it's two zeros. Then ten again, and it's ten. And then ten again, and it's one. But it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be log ten to the power five. And now again, I use my rule, and I say five. 5 log, I put it in, in front, just want to quickly check if that rules is on 195, because I want to give you the rules there, sorry, it's just going to take me a while to check in my textbook, um, I want to see if I see, okay, uh, this was the product law that we, we used there, 
actually just look for a summary the quotient rule okay this this what i used now was the power law so this was the power law that i used there and for this one it was the product rule so this is on page 194 so you will find page 194 and if you want this rule uh, you can look in the summary you will see a nice but um, if I just want to show you the power law, and that was on page 197. Okay, but you will find everything there. Okay, so I'm using that power law, and it's 10. Oh, let me just get my color All right, 10. Now, remember, if you have 10, 10, it becomes 1. So it's actually saying 5 times 1, okay? But my final answer will just be 5, remember? If there's no base, if there's no base standing, then the base will be 10. And if you have 10, 10, then that part becomes 1, and it's like 5 multiply 1. Okay, and then just another one, and again, if you want to see that simplifying, you can check in the textbook on page 199. And now, I'm just going to uh, rewrite. So if it's 1, because you just work with bases of 10. So 1 is log 10. 2 is log 100. 3 is log 1,000. 4 is log 10,000. 5 is log 100,000, like in this one. Okay, so 1 is log 10. Just rewrite it. Okay, now... Uh, because I'm going to just, I, I could first write it down, but I'm going to use that power. So instead of bringing down, I'm jumping up. Do you see? And then I'm just having log x plus 1. Okay. And then it's all plus. So if it's all plus, it's just going to be that power. So it's going to be 10 x squared x plus 1. One and that is going to be my final answer. It's it's almost the same as there. It's just no variables in, and I'm just going to write one log word, and I'm just going to multiply all the things after log. Okay, I just think there's also a printing error there in the. Let's just go and see if it's like that. It's like I can recall when I prepared. Okay, so it's not this one. Let's just go on. Uh, yes, we did this one. Okay. Okay, so here, let's just see. Okay, usually people struggle with locks, but go through it. It's very basic um, in, in ordinary level. <clears throat> so now I morally well answer. Many candidates knew that they had to sub substitute one of the value valuables for the other in one of the equations. Oh, <clears throat> candidates that had their quadratic in terms of y, however, often spoiled their answer by writing their solution as x values instead of y values. That is that simultaneous equations. One linear, one quadratic. And B, poorly, this is now the logs, answered. Although candidates knew that the answer was 5, possibly from their calculators, many failed to show working. So if you didn't show the working, they because they stand show working, they would not give you um, the marks. Then C also poorly answered. It was evident that many candidates have, have uh, got no good knowledge of logarithms. Many failed to realize that it could be written as log 10. 1 is log 10. And that 2x um, could be written is where I jump up. Many candidates expanded log in incorrect or to obtain. So that is totally incorrect. Okay. And I can just show you the answer. And as I said, I think there's also a printing on that last one so there is the answers can you recall five and as as i said they forgot i think it's just a typing error they forgot to say log um it was 10 x squared it's almost like they lost the bracket okay okay according to me that's that's how it should be okay let's go to the next question Okay, I just want to open it. This is a nice graph, very nice. And you will find this type of graphs in the textbook. I'm just going to show you in the textbook. Okay, so it's on page uh, 285. There you can look for things like this. 
The owner of a bookshop drew a graph of the number of books sold each week during a certain period. Okay, so always be, if you would do graphs, just go look at the picture, study it a little bit before you start the questions. So see, okay, here is the weeks. I can see this, okay. Um, one, two, three, four, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that scale is a bit strange, okay, but we're going to work on it because you see there's only five and there is ten, but we're just going to work on the graph, okay. And then uh, it's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, so that's the number of books sold, okay. Now they start and they say, determine the weeks with weeks with the lowest number of books sold. So that will be where the lowest point. So if I, I'll see there, and that is in week eight. So it's just reading from the graph. Now, unfortunately, I will go back and forth. Um, no difference in the sales made from one week to the next. Okay, so it means if it's a straight, let me just go. It means, can I show you where? It means this, do you see, and this. So in this week, they sold 120 of week two, and in week three, also 120. And in four, they sold a 90, and also 90. So it's not just one answer, it's two. So you must say two and three and four and five. Okay, both of them. Okay, now the highest increase in sales, that means when it jump up, the, the steepest gradient. So if I'm going, now if I, you can look. So there it stands still, there it went, there it stands still down. Now it's either, it's either I can compare this one with this one. But you can even look at the line. Then you can see that if I must climb this mountain, it will be more steeper than this one, but you can test it also. Okay, but... In this case, uh, the highest increase in sale, it's from week one to week two. Because you can test it. it. It's going to be 60. And if you look at this one, it's just going to be, yeah, you can even see it from there. It's just going to be 60 up to 90. So definitely week one to week two. Let's just go back. One and two. Okay. Okay. Find the percentage decrease in sales between 7 and 8. Now, let's just go 7. What is 7? So, go in week 7. Just find your sales there. Can you see? That's 90. And then in week 8, with week 8, that's 10. Do you see? That's 10. So, let's just go back. And we're going to say that they asked decrease. So, it's from 90 dropping to 10. And that will be 80, okay? But it's always, you take the 80 and you put it over the original one. The original, the first week was the 7, 90. And then to make it a percentage, you multiply with 100. So if you're going to say 80, divide 90, and you times with 100, you're going to get 88, okay, now, as I said, I like first the full calculator displays. So 88, oh, it's a lot of eights. But three significant figures, it's 88.9. Okay. And then work out the total number of books sold in the eight weeks. So basically, I just want to take you back. It's just, you're going to start and you're going to say 60 plus 120, plus 120, plus 90, I will now write it down again, plus 90, plus 60, plus 90, plus 10. Okay, and now let's go and do that. So it's going to be 60, plus 120, plus 120, plus 90, plus 90, plus 60, plus 90, plus 10. And that is going to add up to 640. I hope I did not leave out um, one of the values there. But I think 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's just good 
especially if it's over two pages. Make, just make sure that you don't do unnecessary mistakes. Okay, and we're going to end with that report again. Uh, we want to see what they told us there. Um, that's question 10 we did. Uh, this, was, uh, this was question 11, I assume. Yes. Okay, so they say this question was well answered. Some candidates, however, lost marks because they wrote down the number of books instead of the weeks in the, as the question uh, asked. Um, so it's better, I wrote the and, but say two to three or four and five. It, it doesn't matter. It, it seems to me that is both correct the way I wrote it also. Okay, so... Um, so it, it's either two or the and sign, doesn't matter. So uh, the question B, moderately well answered. Some candidates knew that they had to find the difference between week seven and eight, but however could not correctly calculate percentage decrease. Some also lost marks due to incorrect rounding or for rounding less than three significant figures. And can you see here? Here is all the answers and there is the 640. And according to me, <coughs> really not... Not a difficult question that they asked there. Okay. Um, as I said, there is a few things in this question paper that was challenging, which must be, especially for your students continuing with maths, but there was also very straightforward things. Okay, I showed you the bookshops. Get your hard copy um, if you don't have one. Otherwise, find a friend and go and sit with the friend and work together. Okay, and then the last one I can also show you is, um, if I go here, um, I, I showed it to the teachers. The teachers plan for next year. Make sure your students is having a book in front of them that will really take them to the highest level. So all the books scored the most um, at the NEET evaluation when they were evaluating. All of them scored above 90%. So really, I think that's already showing you that it's books that's working. And then I'll just want to end, and I'm just doing this more for schools, also planning for next year. I'm just showing you my email address. If you can do bulk orders, or um, ask, you can ask me a quotation, and we always try to give schools a discount.